Whether it's been a stressful innings or a successful one, retirement is something that we all look forward to. Unfortunately, so many of us are just not prepared for it. According to PGIM's Retirement Readiness Survey in India, only 49% of us had some sort of retirement plan in place and only about 46% had some kind of retirement planning support from their employers. Clearly, there's a very wide gap and we need to bridge it. Many of us don't even know where to begin when it comes to retirement. But the starting point is pretty clear. We need to know what our retirement benefits are. So ask yourself, are you entitled to any kind of gratuity or pension when you retire? Have you been saving up in a provident fund? Or do you have specific investments that you've made for retirement? This is a great place to begin. And once you know this, you can actually do the next important thing which is to get a retirement plan in place. Your retirement plan will actually give you a sense of where your financial priorities are. Otherwise, whatever the nearest goal is, becomes our dearest goal, right? And that leaves us only maybe two to five years to plan our retirement because that's when retirement becomes a visible priority. But that's just not enough time to get your retirement plan right. Planning is super important because it allows us to measure what matters. If two to five years is not going to be enough, how much time is actually required? A good amount of time to get your retirement plan in place would be 10 to 15 years. That might seem like a lot of time to plan your retirement, but it actually works out well for three different reasons. The first reason is that when you are focusing on retirement over a period of 10 to 15 years, you will have a much clearer understanding of what your retirement needs actually are. This means knowing what your lifestyle is going to be like, how healthy you're going to be during retirement, whether you need additional financial support during that period. Um, it will also tell you what your priorities are and prepare you for any post-retirement financial commitments that you have. The second important reason why you need so much time is because over 10 to 15 years, you will have the experience of at least a couple of market cycles. And this means that you'll witness the ups and downs of a market and you'll be saving through all of these periods and that will prepare you for whatever happens in your retirement years when you don't have a source of income to supplement your saving patterns. The third important reason why we need time is that if we plan our retirement only two to five years before the time we retire, we'll suddenly find ourselves managing a large sum of money that needs to last out for the next 20 or 30 years. If we do this in a more gradual process where we are being involved with the saving and investing parts of this journey, then we won't experience that big jump from managing a few lakhs to managing a few crores of investments. So what if you're more than 15 years away from retirement? Should this still be a priority for you? Let's look at the numbers. If you start early, you are doing less of the heavy lifting. Let's say you save 50,000 rupees every month for the next 15 years towards your retirement corpus. This would grow to be about 1.9 crores at the end of 15 years. What if you started five years earlier? If you started five years earlier, you would end up saving 30 lakhs more from your side, but the portfolio would grow to be 3.4 crores which means for that additional 30 lakhs, you've actually grown it to one and a half crores. And that's the wide kind of difference that you can make with starting early. Now, does that mean for somebody who's starting late that all hope is lost? I don't think so. There are plenty of ways to catch up. So let's look at the top five things that you can do. The first thing that you can do is to be systematic with your investment. That monthly savings that we talked about, that's a great way to get started. The second thing that you can do is to scale up every opportunity. So if you get a raise or if you get a bonus, add that into your retirement kitty so that you're making up for lost time. The third way that you can do more is uh, to expand your risk appetite. So if you've been a conservative investor in all the years leading up to that point, start looking at uh, more aggressive solutions that work in the long term, not just on taking higher risks, but earning better returns or earning better risk adjusted returns. The fourth thing that you can do is to manage your financial risks. So be prepared for emergencies, have adequate insurance, 
maintain good buffers and reserves so that whatever shocks come your way you're prepared for them and the last thing is to manage and master your debt so being debt free or having a plan that helps you work towards that and managing your financial commitments on the loan side as well as your saving commitments towards your retirement at the same time is going to be a challenge but being on top of that is what is going to help you get ahead now that we know all of these things you're probably wondering what is the best way to invest for retirement i think what works well for retirement is a multi asset solution because uh, multi asset investing allows you to participate continuously through all the years leading up to retirement and in the years after retirement it allows you to compound your investments steadily and the opportunities keep changing for uh, other reasons you could also look at the employee provident fund if you're a salaried person or the nps whether your salary or not is open to all investors all of this seems pretty straightforward so why is it that people are still underprepared for retirement i think it comes down to four things the first one being that we think that retirement is a long term goal right so in our 20s and 30s we really don't pay any attention to retirement because it seems at least 30 to 40 years away from where we are today but what we need to remember is that you're also saving to spend for 30 or 20 years and that's a long time so a long term goal doesn't mean you don't need to save a lot it means that you have to plan a lot the second reason that we tend to fail is because we don't update our assumptions so the markets are constantly changing inflation assumptions are changing there are many things that are changing constantly but if we anchor to some old expectations we're going to end up with outdated outcomes the third pitfall is that um we are not disciplined enough so whether that's in terms of saving systematically whether that's in terms of coming back and reviewing your investment and your plan on a regular basis making sure that it's up to date with your priorities or if if that's even in terms of mapping investments towards savings right so dedicating specific investments for retirement if we fail to do all of these things we will struggle a little bit with reaching those targets and the last thing is something that can be avoided with planning which is that our best career years tend to coincide with our maximum financial commitments so this means that at the time when you're earning the most you tend to have a lot of other expenses that are piled up either because you're supporting elders in the family or you're supporting children who are off to school college and um you may also be paying back your home loans all of these things tend to happen at the same time and unless we plan and prioritize and organize our finances we're not going to be able to stay one step ahead of things which brings us to the last thing all things said and done is this something that you can do on your own retirement planning is not rocket science but it is your retirement corpus that we're talking about and that deserves a certain level of attention and continuous monitoring if you are able to do that and you're the right person to do it you should 100% take control of this situation but given that it's a lot of work not everyone has the capacity to focus and prioritize their retirement the way it deserves to be prioritized and focused upon and if you're in that camp you should always seek professional help we help with financial planning as well as portfolio management so whatever your retirement questions are do get back to us and we'll be happy to help you